What's going on, Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and today I'm going to do an overview of the Heroes Reborn Omnibus. So please stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. Let's look at this cover, first of all. Um, I've opened it up and looked at it. That is what the cover looks like. It is art by Brett Booth. It's actually original artwork. Really thought the guy had a DC contract. Um, here's the spine of the book and what it looks like. And then, of course, the back. You know, let's look at it without the dust jacket and take a look at the book and the binding. Now, Heroes Return has been collected before in trade paperback formats. They're right over here, as a matter of fact. Uh, you have Captain America, Heroes Reborn, Iron Man, Heroes Reborn Avengers, and Heroes Reborn Fantastic Four. All of the contents of this is in here. And what else? So let's find out. Let's start flipping through here. Look at the table of contents. Art by Brett Booth. Interesting that they went with Brett Booth and not Jim Lee. Probably because they wanted something new. Uh, here's the Heroes Reborn Wizard Half Issue. With, uh, if I'm not mistaken, art by Chap Yap. And let's see. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a table of contents. Just the creators behind the stories. So, just a brief, brief little history as to... That's Ryan Benjamin, actually. And then we kick it off with Captain America number one. A um, little brief history. This is when Marvel was experiencing some financial problems. And uh, they decided to lend over their characters for a year. You had Captain America, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, and the Avengers. were lend over to some image creators that had left Marvel previously, such as uh, Jim Lee... Will Spertaccio, and Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld was, of course, in charge of Captain America. And you all probably know from that meme that has gone around with Captain America's gigantic chesticles on the cover. So it looks like they collected a Captain America 1 through 5. It's Rob Liefeld and Jeff Loeb. And then they jumped over to Avengers number 1. So each one of these w had 12 issues, is what they had. They they had 12 issues, and well, actually the content... Oh, the hell, this is what we need to see right here. This beautiful Jim Lee artwork on Fantastic Four. I've always loved this picture of Namor just sitting on a chair. I well, said, I think Jim Lee draws the best dude sitting on chairs. I could be alone. So it looks like the mapping is pretty interesting. Like you have issue 3 of Fantastic Four. And instead of going to Fantastic Four number four, it finishes off this story arc. It jumps over to Avengers number two. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But I know Avengers number two continued. I actually read this stuff. So I wonder if Avengers three. Okay, cool. So they actually put some thought into the mapping of this omnibus. It looks like it is in reading order. Uh, now, really quick, what it collects is uh, Heroes Reborn, the half issue, Captain America 1 through 12. Avengers 1 through 12, Fantastic Four 1 through 12. Keep in mind, this is all the 1996 series. Iron Man 1 through 12, and then material from Incredible Hulk 450. So that's what it collects. So it doesn't collect the miniseries Heroes Return, nor the Onslaught Unleashed, which I think we might get another collection then. Uh, halfway through the series, oh, here's the crossover with Cable. And then halfway through the series, the creative team switches. Jim Lee ends up leaving, and Brett Booth takes over the book. Uh, Wes Potasio takes over Iron Man. And then, actually, he ends up leaving, and Ryan Benjamin takes over, and so on. But there's some pretty good talent on here. I think that's Matthew Ryan on Avengers, if I'm not mistaken, with Walter Simonson on writing duties. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's 90s fun. I can't. I bought the Omnibus because I'm a big fan of a lot of the people's artwork. I know I get, I'm get i probably going to get a lot of shit for saying that, but I'm, it's, it's who I am. Art is all subjective, right? So what one person... God, I, mean, I love Will Spartacio. What one person finds gorgeous, somebody else can find it crappy. But, you know, this is, um, this is as I was getting out of comics, so I never did finish out this set. So it's really nice. I had the trade paperbacks. Now, what it doesn't collect are the issues 13. And that completely makes sense because that was a crossover event with the Wildstorm characters. So Captain America 13, Iron Man 13, Avengers 13, and Fantastic Four 13 are not included on here. I was just going on about the art. 
and then I ran into that. Oh, here we go. Here's Brett Booth. This is the guy that did the cover. And like I said, he is currently working at DC, and I thought he had a contract over there, so it's pretty cool that he did a new cover. I'm glad that I finally get to own this book in oversized format, because I've always thought that the artwork in here, well, it really carried the story, but I always thought it deserved to be in an oversized format. This gorgeous Jim Lee. I mean, yeah, I've always been a fan of Rob Liefeld, too. And Chap Yap, Wills Protasio. So, I was a big fan of these guys when they were at Marvel with New Mutants, X-Force, Uncanny X-Men, X-Men. So, of course, I followed them over to Image. Uh, now, I don't think I remember reading very many Image stories, though. I think I got bored with the first couple. Uh, but God bless, that's awesome. So, it's the art that made me buy this. Okay, now that we flip through here, let's look and see what the extras are. So you have an introduction by Jim Lee. This is from the Fantastic Four Heroes Reborn trade paperback. Okay, and that's it. You have a page of extras that has been collected before in trade paperback format. Now let's look at the binding. So we got the eye there. That looks good. And as we flip through here, it's still laying flat, so that's good. Uh, it's a pretty big omnibus. The retail price of this, by the way, is $125. So, yeah. It's what... This is what I don't usually like to see, but that's okay. That's usually a little glue can fix that. Sometimes It's not on everybody's copy, probably just my copy. But when the little bind starts doing this and it starts to peel away from this... I don't know. It's, it's really all just cosmetic. It's not... It doesn't take away from the binding of the book but it's just me and my OCD so I put a little glue in there and glue it back up and that is the contents of this omnibus please let me know in the comments down below if you picked it up or if you decided to skip on it or if you have any questions about the omnibus and remember to follow us on our Instagram Facebook and Twitter at near mint con if you enjoyed the content of this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button if you enjoyed what you saw don't forget, we can also be found on Patreon. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.